In this video, I'll show you a simple hack to speed up your website loading time by converting your images into a WebP format for superior loading performance. Let's get straight into it. According to Google, WebP images are 26% smaller when compared to the PNG images and 25 to 34% smaller when compared to JPEG. One other thing to keep in mind is you can also convert your images into an AVIF format, which is a superior compression when compared to the WebP format. So one thing to note is that the browser support for AVIF isn't as widely adapted as the WebP format. So although you will get um, a smaller image with the same quality, and um, with the AVIF format, it might not work for all your users, right? Because the format isn't that widely adapted, right? So with that being said, let's get straight into the video and let's convert our images into this WebP format. So I've already converted a few images beforehand. So I just wanted to show you the benefit of converting your images into the WebP format. So for example, here's an original image, which I've already converted. You can see the original image size is 36.8 KB. Here we can zoom in on the image. We can see the detail here. And then if we look to the right, we can see a converted image into a WebP format. And this is significantly smaller. So this is actually 11.8 KB. So that's more than a 50% reduction in image size right so if we scroll around the image you can see it's pretty much identical so we're not actually losing any quality um, by converting it so if you want to optimize your images and speed up your website loading time let's head over to plugins and then add new and let's get started and then we'll just search for webp okay and there's a few different plugins in which we can use i've personally tried this one and it didn't work in my situation it might work for you so i'm going to go ahead and try this webp express here all right, so now we'll navigate over to settings and then WebP Express. Okay, then we'll go ahead and configure a few general settings. Okay, so here we'll choose which folder we want this particular plugin to convert the images from. So I'm just going to say the uploads folder only. And here we'll say JPEG and PNG as well. So I'm going to enable this option to convert the image as soon as we upload it. All right, so let's hit save changes to make sure this takes effect. And to do this test, since I've got um, 17,000 images on this particular website, is we're going to compare two different product images, okay? So let's head over to our shop page. All right, and here we've got two identical products and two identical images, okay? So what we're going to do is let's open both these products up. All right, and the images are exactly the same. I'm going to edit this product and upload a new image, and then we want to test the image size um, side by side okay so let's edit this particular product let's remove this image and let's upload it again so it converts it for us so let's actually delete this permanently okay and let's go and upload the same image again so it's still showing the jpeg format so let's head back over to our settings we'll scroll down and then here we'll enable this option to alter the html and then we'll say replace the image url as well okay and we can tick this option to only replace it for webp supported browsers as well so let's hit save settings and then let's refresh this page and then here you can see it's loading our webp format all right, so what we can do is we can actually export this image and then we can compare it side by side. But what I'm going to do in instead is let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's navigate over to media and then we'll go WebP Express and then we'll go ahead and select our upload folder 2023. And we'll select this month and this is this image that we was working with. Well, here you can see the original image size is 36.8 KB. Whereas the WebP format is actually 11.8 KB. So that's more than a 50% reduction. And this can dramatically affect your website loading time. So now that I've demonstrated the benefits of converting your images to a WebP format, let's go ahead and bulk convert the rest, all right? So we'll head over to settings and then WebP Express again. We'll scroll down. And then here we'll just select bulk convert. All right, as I said in the beginning, I've got over 17,000 images, but we can just click start conversion and it will just go through and convert each individual images. All right, like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in a comment box.